and welcome to Growth Daily Books, where you can acquire the essential knowledge and stories found in books through this book review podcast. In this episode, I'll share with you a book summary of one of my personal favorites and another best-selling book by Mel Robbins called The Five Second Rule, where you'll get to understand what the five second rule is and how you can apply it for your personal and professional growth. So sit back, relax, grab a pen and paper, and let's get started. The Five Second Rule. Transform your life, work, and confidence with everyday courage is a self-help book written by Mel Robbins that teaches readers how to overcome procrastination and take action towards their goals. The Five Second Rule involves counting backwards from five and taking action within five seconds of having an impulse to do so. This technique can help people to overcome procrastination and to take action even when they are feeling anxious or uncertain. The rule states that when you have an impulse to take action, you must physically move within five seconds or your brain will talk you out of it. Robbins argues that this simple technique can help people overcome procrastination, fear, and hesitation and take action towards their goals. Robbins discusses the science behind the five-second rule and how it works to overcome the brain's natural tendency towards inertia. One study found that people who set specific goals and made a plan to achieve those goals were more likely to succeed than those who did not. Similarly, research has shown that people who take action quickly are more likely to achieve their goals than those who procrastinate. One theory for why this is the case is that taking action quickly helps to build momentum and to create positive habits. When we take action quickly, it becomes easier to continue taking action and to make progress towards our goals. In contrast, when we procrastinate, we may lose momentum and become more likely to give up on our goals. Overall, while there is no scientific evidence specifically on the five-second rule, the idea of taking action quickly to overcome procrastination and to achieve goals is supported by research in the fields of psychology and neuroscience. She also provides practical tips for implementing the rule in different areas of life, such as work, relationships, and personal growth. Throughout the book, Robbins shares personal stories and examples of how the five-second rule has helped her and others overcome procrastination and take action towards their goals. She also provides exercises and tools to help readers apply the rule in their own lives. Some of the personal stories shared by Robbins in the book include fighting anxiety and depression by pushing yourself, The story of how Robbins overcame her own struggles with anxiety and depression and how she used the five-second rule to help her take action and make positive changes in her life. Robbins describes how she struggled with anxiety and depression for many years and how these struggles affected her ability to make decisions and to take action. She describes how the five-second rule helped her to overcome her procrastination and to take control of her life. For example, she used the five-second rule to force herself to get out of bed in the morning, to make a phone call that she had been avoiding, or to take a step towards achieving one of her goals. By consistently taking small, positive actions using the five-second rule, Robbins was able to overcome her anxiety and depression and to make meaningful progress in her life. In her personal story, Robbins describes how she used the five-second rule to help her take small steps to improve her mental health, such as going for a walk or talking to a friend. She also describes how she used the five-second rule to help her make bigger changes, such as leaving a job that was making her unhappy and starting a new career as a speaker and author. Overcoming alcohol addiction. The story of how Robbins used the five-second rule to help her husband overcome his struggles with alcohol addiction and to rebuild their marriage. Robbins describes how her husband's alcohol addiction had caused significant problems in their marriage and how it had put a strain on their relationship. She describes how she struggled to find a way to help him overcome his addiction and how the five-second rule helped her to take action. In her personal story, Robbins describes how she used the five-second rule to help her husband take small steps to overcome his addiction, such as going to meetings or seeking support from friends and family. 
She also describes how she used the five-second rule to help her take action to support her husband and to rebuild their marriage, such as by seeking help from a therapist and by being more understanding and patient. Raising a family The story of how Robbins used the five-second rule to help her deal with the challenges of raising a family, including the difficulties of balancing work and parenting responsibilities. Robbins describes how she struggled with the demands of raising a family and how it was often difficult for her to find time for herself and for her own interests. She describes how the five-second rule helped her to take action and to make time for herself and for her own goals. In her personal story, Robbins describes how she used the five-second rule to help her take small steps to find time for herself and her own interests, such as setting aside dedicated time for exercise or hobbies. In addition to discussing the five-second rule, Robbins also covers a number of other topics related to personal development and goal achievement. She discusses the importance of setting goals and developing a growth mindset, as well as the role of habits and routines in achieving success. She also covers the importance of self-confidence and self-belief and provides tips for building these qualities. Personal achievement and growth involve setting and working towards goals in order to create meaningful progress and success in your life. She shares a number of strategies for achieving personal growth and success in her book, including setting clear and specific goals, taking consistent and persistent action towards those goals, and cultivating a growth mindset. These strategies include, number one, setting clear and specific goals. She suggests setting goals that are S-M-A-R-T, SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound, in order to make them more attainable and actionable. Here is a brief explanation of each of the components of SMART goals. Specific. Your goals should be specific and clearly defined rather than vague or broad. For example, instead of setting a goal to get fit, you might set a goal to lose 10 pounds and run a 5K in six months. Measurable. Your goals should be measurable so that you can track your progress and know when you have achieved them. For example, you might include specific metrics like weight loss or running time in your goals. Achievable. Your goals should be realistic and achievable given your current resources and circumstances. It is important to set goals that challenge you, but that are also within reach. Relevant. Your goals should be relevant and aligned with your values and priorities. This will help to ensure that you are motivated to work towards them. Time bound. Your goals should have a specific deadline or time frame, which will help to create a sense of urgency and encourage you to take action. Number two, taking consistent and persistent action towards your goals. In order to achieve your goals, it is important to take consistent and persistent action towards them. Robin suggests using the five second rule to help you overcome procrastination and hesitation and to take immediate action towards your goals. Number three, cultivating a growth mindset. Robbins discusses the importance of cultivating a growth mindset, which is a belief that your abilities and potential are not fixed, but can be developed and expanded through effort and learning. By adopting a growth mindset, you can be more open to learning and growth and more resilient in the face of setbacks and challenges. When you have a growth mindset, you are more likely to see challenges as opportunities for learning and growth rather than as threats or failures. There are a number of ways to cultivate a growth mindset, including focusing on effort and learning rather than on innate talent or ability, seeking out new challenges and opportunities for learning and growth, embracing mistakes and failures as opportunities to learn and grow, and seeking feedback and learning from others. Number four, engaging in self-awareness and self-reflection. 
Robbins emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and self-reflection in achieving personal growth and success. She suggests taking time to reflect on your thoughts, behaviors, and actions in order to gain a better understanding of yourself and to identify areas for improvement. By engaging in self-awareness and self-reflection, you can gain a deeper understanding of your strengths and weaknesses, your values and priorities, and your motivations and goals. This can help you to make more informed decisions about your life and career and to identify areas for improvement and growth. There are a number of ways to engage in self-awareness and self-reflection, including setting aside time to reflect on your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, keeping a journal or writing down your thoughts and feelings, seeking feedback from others and asking for their perspective on your strengths and weaknesses, and engaging in activities that promote self-awareness, such as meditation or mindfulness practices, Number five, developing positive habits and behaviors. Robbins discusses the role of positive habits and behaviors in helping to create meaningful progress and success in your life. She suggests focusing on developing habits and behaviors that are supportive of your goals, such as exercising regularly, eating well, and taking care of your physical and mental health. By setting boundaries, you can create a sense of balance and control in your life and prevent yourself from feeling overwhelmed or overextended. Setting boundaries can also help you to respect the needs and boundaries of others and to build healthier relationships. There are a number of ways to set boundaries, including saying no when you are unable or unwilling to do something, setting limits on your time and energy, communicating your needs and boundaries to others, and setting boundaries around your physical and emotional space. Robbins also covers the role of habits and routines in achieving success. She argues that habits and routines are powerful tools for creating lasting change, and she provides tips for developing and maintaining good habits. She also discusses the importance of self-confidence and self-belief and provides tips for building these qualities. These tips include the following. Make it easy. Make it as easy as possible to develop and maintain good habits. This might include setting up a consistent routine, creating a supportive environment, or breaking the habit down into small, manageable steps. Make it enjoyable. Find ways to make the habit enjoyable or rewarding, as this will make it more appealing and easier to stick with. Make it consistent. Be consistent in your efforts to develop and maintain the habit. This might mean setting aside a specific time each day to work on the habit or finding a way to make the habit a part of your daily routine. Make it visible. Make the habit visible by reminding yourself of it regularly. This might include using a planner or setting reminders on your phone or creating a visual representation of the habit, such as a chart or calendar. Make it accountable. Find a way to hold yourself accountable to the habit. This might mean finding an accountability partner or joining a group of people who are working on the same habit. Finally, Robbins covers the importance of seeking support and building a strong support system. She discusses the benefits of seeking help and advice from others and provides tips for building a network of supportive relationships. Here are a few steps for using the five second rule. Number one, identify an action you wanna take. The first step in using the five second rule is to identify an action that you want to take. This could be something small, like making a phone call or something larger, like starting a new project. Number two, start counting backwards from five. When you have an impulse to take action, start counting backwards from five. This helps to interrupt your natural tendency to procrastinate and to shift your focus to the task at hand. Number three, take action within five seconds. After you start counting backwards from five, take action within five seconds. This can help to overcome any hesitation or procrastination that you may be feeling. Number four, repeat as needed. The five second rule is a technique that can be used repeatedly to help you take action and overcome procrastination.
If you find that you are still struggling to take action, simply start counting backwards from five and take action again. Overall, The Five Second Rule is an engaging and practical book that offers valuable insights and tools for overcoming procrastination and taking action towards one's goals. It is a must read for anyone looking to improve their productivity and achieve success in their personal and professional lives. If you enjoyed this micro podcast, you may subscribe to receive daily bite sized book reviews and summaries to grow yourself and your career with topics in skills development, business, relationship, and life in general. Only at Growth Daily Books.